I'm about to show you guys a super useful Max for Live device, and it can solve one of the key problems that Ableton's had for a long time. So basically, when you go into session view like this, and you double click, every single clip that you create will have automatically set a length of one. So let's just do it again. You can see there, it's automatically gonna set a length of one. There's nothing you can do in the options really to change that. You have to literally go in manually and change that yourself to two, three, or four. But now there's this tool and it's completely free and it basically sets the defaults for you. So for example, if you want your default, your clip to be a length of two, you'll see here that the length of the new clip is two. And not only that, it sets defaults on everything. So basically you can set it to be not a loop, you can set the launch parameters, you can set to legato, you can set your automatic quantize, and you can set automatic velocity. As well as that, you can set automatic time signature. But personally for me, the real value is length. I'm gonna show you why. Because it not only sets your length up at the beginning of the song, but also while you're in a song. So for example, here we've got a little drum loop in this clip. So if we just go into the main settings here, we can change the length here to be one. Let's click apply. So let's change that there to be one. Or we can change it to zero and have a shorter length. And you'll hear a difference in the sound automatically. Let's change the length to be free. You'll hear a slight difference in sound again. It's a free utility. I've got a down link in my description. I highly recommend you guys try it out.